another exciting episode of Hot Talk. Today we will be talk. <laughs> Mini earthquake. <laughs> Today we will be talking about the beacon in uh, PA. Mm -hmm. Not too far from. It's very close to Butler. I forget the Butler. exact, but it was yeah. Yeah. Um, if you look it up, Beacon Hotel, you should be able to find it. Uh, this was a newer one for us. It was interesting, though. But mm -hmm. first, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. If you haven't already, go check out our new independent film that we made called Samsara. It is available on Amazon Prime right now. If you're a Prime member, it's free. If you're not, it's 99 cents. We'd love for you to go check it out. Let us know what you think. We'd really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. On to the review. So, The Beacon. Yeah. So, this place advertises itself as a corn maze and haunted house. Um, go for the corn maze, don't go for the haunted house. Yeah. Jet, we're just going to say that right there <laughs> and i want to preface that because our first category is always just sets and props and um there's not much that we're going to be able to talk about in this category um because most of the sets and props are in the haunted house the corn maze doesn't really have many mm -mm. um so we'll just kind of get in we'll just kind of get into it i guess um so we'll start with the haunted house again just because that's where pretty much all the sets and props are um have you been to a spirit store in the last three years <laughs> <laughs> um because it's all of the props they've had um, some of the stuff we even recognized is like the actual in-store displays from yeah. years past, like the elevator scene and stuff. Yeah. Um, which, if uh, if you're a person that goes a lot, as soon as you recognize it, it just takes you out. Yeah, completely. like I saw it and I was just like, oh, okay. Right. <laughs> and then I started looking around and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's from there. That's Most, from there. I would say like almost 90% of the stuff. Yeah. Um, now, I mean, that being said, they did light it fairly well. Yes. Um, and like there was some unique-ish stuff going on in there. But for one, and we'll talk more in value and stuff, but the haunted house was, it took us like three and a half minutes to get in there, but there's a group in front of us that just dead stopped. Yeah. So you can probably like, if you're walking kind of fast, this thing's under three minutes. Um... So, I mean, there's not much to talk about with the haunt. There's a few scenes in there. You start with clowns. Just just your typical haunted house stuff mm -hmm. with spirit decorations. It's not a whole bunch there. Yeah. Not a corn maze. Um, this thing is, it is a real maze. It's a which real maze. is pretty cool. This is actually the first, this is the first corn maze Kim's ever done. I, I've this never done them. surprising to me. Yeah. Never done them. I've done corn mazes before, but this is my first real haunted corn maze. Because now, there's many out there that are like, they say it's a corn maze, but it's really a corn trail. Where you're just walking on a predetermined path, and there's really not a way to get lost. You know, it's just you're walking through some corn. No, no, no. This one is a giant corn trail. <laughs> or a path, I mean. Or, my God. A giant corn maze. Um, now, there are paths and trails in it like there's points where you like you get out of the maze and then there's like there's just one way to go and there might be like a, a little scene or two like so there's not many scenes um there was like a school bus thing that we walked beside that was like inside of a tarp trailer i don't really know what it was but there's some strobe lights yeah nothing happened it was just like a congestion point we like we're just yeah, kind of stuck there were, in there there were like some coffins in there y yeah it was hard to see what was even going on because there's just like a conga line of people in this thing when we got to it yeah the coolest thing that was there is they had a selfie station and they had like this it was an actor, I guess, but it looked like a prop, but he was like, ah, eh, come out and get you. Yeah. And there was, like, a place where you could take selfies. Yeah, it was, like, one of those big-headed things that you wear up on top of your head and stuff, and it's got the big arms and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah, he was, like, guiding people over either to the selfie station or to the path or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, there really wasn't much else. There's a few spots that had light, but, I mean, the point is that it's a really dark, long corn maze. Yeah. Um... Yeah, and, like, you might get lost in there for a real long time. I mean, it, it just depends. Now, there is also a... They say it's just a tractor ride um, to the corn maze from the place. And it's probably, like, a 10-minute ride, I'd say, maybe 10 minutes. About, about 10 minutes, probably. About 10 minutes, yeah. To get from the beacon to this corn maze. Um, and there actually were a couple actors on there, and there's one scene. There's, like, one scene on the wagon ride 
which there's like a body hanging from a thing and it kind of like took you between like these two like wood walls. Yeah. I don't really know what it was supposed to be, but it was just kind of like a little scene thing. Yeah. Um, but it is mainly for the most part just to get you back there. But I will say the ride is creepy because it's just, you just keep going. You're like, oh, this is, this is where we have to. And, um, yeah. And then eventually they pull next to a burning barrel and a girl and a woman tells you, this is where you get off the tractor. Quote unquote. <laughs> this is where you get off the she tractor. She just hollers it. <laughs> it was funny. I don't know why, but it was really funny. <laughs> um, I really would like if they would put more scenes on it. I thought it would be a nice, like, this is what my recommendation is. Stop doing this stupid little haunted house. And just put a couple scenes on that trail back there and just, just focus on the corn maze because that's the star of the show. Yes. Um, so for sets and props, now the score does seem kind of low, but there really isn't sets and props besides the few that are in the haunted house. So we gave it a six. And that's not to say the corn maze is bad because, I mean, it doesn't really need it. It's its own thing. But for sets and props, it is a six. So if you're looking for something elaborate and like Hollywood-style sets, and if that's what you're looking for when you go here, you will be disappointed because that's that's not what this is about. No, not at all. So, moving on to actors. They had a lot in the corn mm. maze. Seemed like there wasn't that many, but that's just because the corn maze is ridiculously large. Oh my, <laughs> gosh. my gosh. Like, I, I was sweating. And I mean, yes, it was kind of warm yesterday, and I had my little hoodie on and everything like that, but I was sweating because I was just like... Are you gonna get out of here? Because yeah. it was just so big. It was yeah. ridiculous. And yeah. then yeah, they they did have like really good hiding spots. Some of them, yeah. In the mm -hmm. corn maze. Like some of them were like really good. Like they would just pop out of nowhere. And like yeah. it was really disorientating because like the wind was blowing, so like the corn was kind of moving a little bit. Yeah, and you think there's people and Yeah. Like, yeah, that was I just constantly was doing this. I'm like, I yeah, hear it was something. Nerve -wracking. And I'm like, nope, there's nobody there. And then you're like, Oh, I hear something, but it must be corn. No, it's a person. It was like, oh, it, it was very, yeah, it was very, uh... Yeah. Some stand up, there was a little girl that scared the crap out of me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because she's really small, and it was like strobe light area, and like I'm looking around, and I just happen to look down, and she's just standing there looking up at me, and just fr freaked me out. <laughs> um, there was another one that was a good distraction scare. There was an actor standing there doing the, do you want to play with me thing? And, um... And when she was saying that, and I was walking towards her, and someone came out of the corner, another, like, younger girl, and she's like, I do, and she scared me, because, you know, you're looking <laughs> at the one in front. And then there are some that will just kind of, just, like, slowly just kind of stalk you and just watch you. They wouldn't really be scary. They would just, like, stand there and just look at you, mm -hmm. which is kind of creepy, because, I mean, you're already in a giant, creepy cornfield. And there's something about the fact of not knowing where the hell you are or where you're supposed to go and having to kind of, like, keep track of, like, actors trying to scare you <laughs> that really makes it a little freakier. Oh, yeah. Um, the biggest complaint we have is there is multiple instances where we would walk up on actors were just like, because a lot of them are kids, they'd have be like having conversations or like talking about their TikToks or whatever the children these days talk about. At one point, no, I'm pretty sure there was like a group of three girls and then they're like, and they're like on their, like looking at their phone, talking about something and then they stop and notice that we're right by them and then just go, ah, and scream at us. And it's like, <laughs> really? And that happened a couple of times. Yeah. Um, it also happened once in the haunted house where um, we went in and apparently they were talking, having jokes where the actors were laughing so hard they just gave up on trying to do the scene. Yeah, they couldn't do it. Yeah, she was like, it was like a girl that was strapped into a um, like a doctor chair thing and she was laughing. So it's kind of like, eh. So that's the one thing is I would definitely train them on being a little bit more professional and not maybe making jokes, maybe having a spot where they can go if they need a break to talk to one another instead of just right in the middle. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, and this has nothing to do with actors, but I just thought of it and want to mention it, is just people being just ignorant butts. Um, there's literally two different people we saw that were just peeing in the corn. Like, there's children, <laughs> actors there, and there's guys that were a part of the same, like, wagon that let us off, just peeing in the corn. Mm -hmm. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, if you're a person that does these kind of things, don't go to a haunt, don't go anywhere. Just do us all a favor and just be a hermit and stay at home no one needs you in public <laughs> this same group actually they couldn't <sighs> find their way because we were following them for a little bit and they finally got frustrated because we hit a dead end so they just walked through the corn oh they yes they made their own path they yes. just went right through the corn like oh, screw this and they just went through the corn and we're just, just like, show for some respect like yeah but yeah like, so that has nothing to do with actors the actors were not the people doing mm -hmm. this to be clear this was people that were in there but like just come on show respect for the actors and the people that are putting the haunts on exactly 
Um, but yeah, the actors didn't have much dialogue either. Um, like I said, most of them were good except for those few instances. I, I just, again, would really like if they just wouldn't have the haunt and just take those actors and throw them into the corn maze and maybe another scene or two on the little ride back. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for actors, we gave them a 7.5. Most of them were, most of them are pretty good. Yeah. Alright, so now Scare Factor, again, it's very long and just dark attraction and I feel like the scare factor also um, you know can tie into just how long you get lost in there and you know that you're going to be in for something when they give you basically a safe word <laughs> if you're just like too flustered or confused or you put your hand up and say beacon three times and then something an actor will come and basically ex escort escort you out and like so we it took us it took us 30 minutes to get through this thing but there were people in there that were telling us it took them an hour to an hour and a half. Yeah. Like, the general consensus seemed to be most people were taking about an hour. So we got out pretty quick. Because, well, we, I mean, we didn't cheat, but a couple times we met up with other groups that had taken multiple wrong ways, and we just kind of followed them so we would find the next the next right path. Yeah. So, like, we kind of got lucky in that regards. But, like, there are multiple times where, like, if we weren't following these people, I know that I would have, like, went the wrong way and just got confused. <laughs> Um, so scare factor for this one's a little bit weird. Um, oh, and then the haunted house, like I said, there wasn't, there was a couple jump scares, but it was so short, and there's not much to talk about there, so we're mainly talking about the maze, obviously, but, um, yeah, so we gave scare factor a seven, um, because, I mean, like, it's not super scary, there's no gore or anything, and there's actors, but it's not real intense, and a lot of the actors are children, but, like, if just being lost in a dark corn maze freaks you out, this is not where you want to go because that's what it, <laughs> that's what this is, and it is long and yeah, if, if like because you're just going to end up screaming the safe word, you're not getting your money's worth at that point. Speaking of money's worth, that brings us into value. Who knew? It was twenty dollars to get in. They do have a three dollar coupon that you can print that is good for up to six people. It's on their website. So that you only up, have to print yeah. up one. That adds up if you have a family. Yeah. Um, the maze, again, it took us about 30 minutes, but, again, we were hearing people saying they were yeah. in there for 45 minutes, an hour, hour and a half, so it really depends on how good you are at mazes, and the house was three minutes long, right. so definitely not worth the value for the house, so it's yeah. kind of mute, I guess. Yeah. Um, we did give them an 8.5 because yes. of the maze, because, yes. I mean, it's, it was amazing. Yes, oh my god. But, um, yeah, $17 for that long of a maze and stuff, and I actually really liked the tractor ride, even though there wasn't yeah. much that happened on it. There were a couple actors that did get us. I forgot to mention them in actors, actually, but there's a Freddy Krueger one who jumped up and scared us pretty good. Yeah, and then they actually had a Jeepers Creepers as well. Oh, that's why, I'm sorry, it was Jeepers Creepers. I don't even know if there was a Freddy, it was Jeepers Creepers. But, um, yeah, so they, they both got us. There was a chainsaw guy as well. Yep, there's a yeah. chainsaw guy. They just appeared out of nowhere. Um, I just, like I said, I would X that. I would just scratch the house, maybe put a couple little scenes along the thing, and just even a couple more actors in the core maze, and I think it would be, like, you know, even better. But, yeah, I think the value, $20, 17 at the coupon for a maze that size is just pretty good. Um, and then, well, well... We'll just give it the overall rating now. We'll state it and have a few more closing comments. For overall, we gave it an 8. Um, but I will say I think the design of the maze itself was really good. Yeah. Because they did make it to a way where, like, there was always kind of something. Like, there were no signs or anything like that, but there was something you could search for. Um, like, you might there might be, like, a little building in the distance you know you haven't been. You can kind of see it, and you're like, yeah. or you see a light that's somewhere and you're like all right somehow I have to find there or maybe you would at what point we kept hearing a chainsaw and we're like we know we haven't ran into a chainsaw guy yet yeah. so just go towards the chainsaw noise like <laughs> all these things and it was also designed so like some ways would be dead ends but a lot of ways would eventually lead you to the way you need to go but some ways would just take a lot longer than others yeah and they said there were some that were just circles but a lot of it was designed in a smart way to kind of funnel you in it would just some would be again shorter or longer routes and yeah. then you would get to a part that kind of turned into a trail and then it would go back out into a maze again. Mm -hmm. And so I just thought that was a cool, like, design, how they kind of had it break into multiple, it's like a whole bunch of little mazes strung together. Yeah. By, like, yeah. trails. So, yeah, I, I thought it was really cool. It's also a beautiful night. Um, yeah. So, yeah, if you're looking for a good haunted corn maze, which really isn't that easy to find, 
there's not that many real mazes that are haunted. You can find quite a few daytime ones around the area, like Ohio, Pennsylvania, but real haunted ones, it's hard to find. So this is a must if that's something that you um, want to go to. And if you haven't tried one out, I highly recommend this place. Like, highly, highly recommend going. It was a lot of fun. I also think that it is scary, but kids, especially since you can just call it the safe word, if they're too freaked out, you can leave. I think that it's also a decent thing for kids. It is a little yeah. freaky, but I, I don't think it's too intense to take them to. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Yeah. But um, have you been there? You know, what did you think of it? Uh, let us know and also let us know any places you would like us to go in the future for next year or whatever. Um, but that's it for this review and we'll see you guys in the next. Thank you for watching. Bye.